Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. We got another little hover effect for you today. In our last video we showed you how to create this gallery image zoom effect. If I roll down today, we got two little buttons here. We got two little simple hover effects. First one, if we hover over it, it's going to change color and stretch. And the little icons are going to appear there. And there's no coding involved in this today. Our second button here, we've got another little blue button. When we hover over it, it's going to grow. And then when we take our mouse off, it's going to shrink back to where it was. And if people are mousing around your site and things like this start to happen, it's going to get their attention pretty quickly. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. OK, let's go down. I've got a section here, the blue tab with a row. The green tab has got two columns in it. I'm going to keep the section in a row and we'll just delete these modules within the columns here. OK, well, let's add a new little button module. Here it is right here. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any sort of website. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it'll also give you an extra dozen to deal with your products. OK, well, let's add our button. There it is. Put whatever you want your button to say right there. Down below, obviously, is where you want to put the link where you want your button to take people. Always best practice, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab so that your site stays open. OK, so let's presume you've put your link in there. Let's go over to our design there. I'm going to pop my button in the middle. Remember, we've got two columns in our row here, so it's popped it in the middle of our little row right there. And let's go down. I'm going to go to the button. I'm going to use custom styles for the button. Now, obviously, you can change your button text size there. I'm going to leave that just as it is. Text color, I'm going to turn white. It'll disappear onto that white background there, but that's OK. Down below, button background, I'm going to make this blue. And it's reappeared down there. I don't want any border on there, so I'm going to take the border off. Either flip that down to zero or put a zero in there. And obviously we've got no border, so we've no need for a border color. If you want to make your buttons round, you can give them a border radius. It's got slight corners on there. I don't know if you can see that. We've got three picks as standard. If you want, want to make them more rounded, put in a higher pixel value. So if I put in 20, just put in the 20, it'll put in the picks for you. You've got a sort of pill shape button. And the more you do, the more rounded it gets. And if you have a small amount of text in your buttons, the same height as it is the width, you can give it a percentage and it'll be a complete circle. Won't work with what we've got here, but it'll give you the idea. And common to most Divi modules, if you don't like something you've done, simply go in there and delete it. OK, so we've got our basic button. And when I hover over it, I want it to change color. And again, this is common to most Divi modules if you hover over the dark writing at the top here you'll see some icons appear go to the thing that you want to affect in our case the button background here roll over if there's a little arrow there click on it it'll give us a desktop and a hover option desktops when your mouse is not on it I want it just like that when we hover over it I want it to turn red but I also want it to be wider than that initially then when we hover over it, I want it to get a bit skinnier and get a lot wider. So let's go back to desktop mode. I'm going to close up the button for the time being. I'm going to go down to spacing just below. And I'm going to give it, say, 20 pixels padding top and bottom, which should make it larger. That's great. Then when I hover over it, I want it to be wider and skinnier. So again, I'm going to roll over the dark writing. I'm going to hit that arrow. Desktop's fine. When I hover over it, I'm going to put that to 10 pixels. Again, just put in the 10. It'll put the pixels in there for you. But I want to make it a lot wider. 
say 100 pixels padding each side again I've just put in the 100 you see it's put it on the left there click the little chain to do the opposite there we go now the time it takes to get from the blue button to the red state right there by default with Divi is 300 milliseconds I like to slow it down for a bit of drama so to do that go to your advanced tab We'll go down to transitions there's the default 300 you can either slide the slider up i'll give this about three quarters of a second make it nice and great graceful you can either slide the slider type in a value or you can increment up and down with the little arrows to the right there don't want any delay want it to happen as soon as their mouse hits it transition speed curve i'm going to use ease in ease out great So rather than exit and check that button out, let's just get on with our next one and we'll check them both out when we finished. Okay, well let's just actually clone this button for ease. So I'm gonna hit the two little squares to clone it. I'm gonna drag one version to our other column over here. Okay, this little button, I still want it to change to red, but I want it to grow when we hover over it. And this is really easy. So let's go in there. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my spacing because I don't want it to grow on hover with the spacing like it did before. So I'm going to go to design tab, down to spacing. I'm going to leave that just like that, but on the hover state, I change that to 20 pics. And I'm going to delete that. So the button should be the same but red on hover state. But what we actually want it to do when we hover over it is to grow. And to make this happen, I'm going to close up the spacing. I'm going to go down to transform. And again, making sure I'm on the hover state, go up to the dark writing, hit the little arrow. First one here is scale, which is grow. And you can do width and height separately if you want to. But I want to do them both the same so it re remains the same aspect ratio. If you want to do them separately, just uncheck that chain. As long as that's highlighted, it'll do them both together. I'm going to make it grow by about 50%. There we go, 150%. Then when we're not hovering over it, it's going to be like that. But I don't want the icon on there for this one. I'm going to leave that one off. So let's go back up and go into our button. I'm going to roll down. Here's show button icon. You can turn it off if you want none at all, or if we roll down a bit more, you can turn this one to no, only show on hover, if you want to see it all the time. But I don't want to see an icon at all there, and obviously pick your icon here, so I'm going to switch that one to off. And the only other thing is, I want to speed this up slightly, three quarters of a second I think is a little slow for that effect. So let's go over to our advanced and transitions. I'm going to take that 750 and about half a second. Great. Well, let's save this and see what we've got. And let's exit the Visual Builder. We'll roll on down. There's our little buttons. The first one, when I hover over it, it's going to grow wider and get a bit skinnier. When I let go, it's going to go back to how it was. And that's taking three quarters of a second. Second one right here, when I hover over it, it's just going to grow. It's going to get 50% bigger. And it's going to take half a second to do it. So there you go, guys. There's two button hover effects with no coding. Really easy to do. And like I say, if people are mousing around your site, things like that happen, it's going to get their attention pretty quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.